Good morning. How you doing today? This is Craig Christie, and I'm just doing a uh, kind of a backyard video to show how we're doing this summer. Uh, we're having a great year here as far as plant growth, and uh, I'm going to give you a tour and show you what's going on here. This happens to be our beautiful, beautiful, big gorgeous elderberry she's three years old and she has exploded and uh let's go on the inside here and show you what's going on and you got some flowers coming here flowers coming here flowers coming here flowers coming here flowers all over where the leaves where there's flowers there is also berries so we're expecting a really good harvest and this is a dream come true and this is just growing all over so we're hoping to train it more to the left as soon as i get this lumber and shingles out of the way so hoping to go towards the the pear tree there the wild pear um and fill in this space here. So, real blessing. Thank you, Josh Hamlin, wherever you are, who sent us this from uh, from uh, Missouri. I was going to say Ohio, but that's where Sean is, Missouri. So, let's continue the tour. And we'll go back here and start all the way back here. And this, of course, is wild lettuce. The big blue variety there, that'll get probably about 12, 15 foot tall. So a lot of good medicine growing there. And uh, we have next to the cellar door, some white avens, which we get tons of those over here. We've never really used them herbally yet. We've been researching them, so beautiful plant. Up. And here we have horseradish, which is pretty tall you can see it's almost as tall as the fence okay so it's almost four foot so doing really good really thick this year be harvesting a lot of this this year so of course the biodynamic pile which actually compost pile but we call it biodynamic now because you gotta use new names for everything okay what do we have here we have the uh, potatoes coming up. We didn't plant many this year. Just our 4 by 8 garden of potatoes. Actually, some empty space back there in case we wanted to put something else this year. Um, didn't do much gardening this year. Um, been beat up. My lime's been flaring up a little. So, Karen's been picking up my slack. And that means we don't really have too much time for stuff. Because I've been trying to get some extra rest. So, uh, it's doing well. We planted some onions next to the potatoes there. Very nice, looking well. And we have pockets of sour dock coming up here. It's going to be very strong and big. And some more pockets over there that are in front of the huge, dynamic, best ever comfrey patch we've had. This is unbelievable. This is so thick. And beautiful and good and um, blooming and doesn't get much better than this so that's a real blessing and that's good medicine right there and what we don't use for medicine we compost into uh, to make soil for around here because our goal is to make the best soil we possibly can while we're still on this earth so our contribution there we go. Okay, next, spinning around. You see the garden, the horseradish, the elderberries. We have a new patch of staghorns coming up. Um, the original staghorns we had were 30 foot high, but they get very weak. Um, and we had a hailstorm, and a couple of them snapped, so I took them all down. Uh, 
what we're going to do with this patch here, the staghorn sumac patch, is we're going to bonsai it. So once it gets about the height of the wood pile, I'm going to just start cutting the tops and see if I can bonsai this out. And uh, hopefully, probably not this year, but maybe next year, produce some berries. Uh, moving on, we have our daylilies, which have really come back since we cut down the, the staghorn, which was so high. We were actually going to move these, but now we're going to bonsai this. They'll be fine there. So actually getting their first flower on there, as you can see right there. So the daylilies are real cool. We make uh, those fritters out of the flowers. They're really good. And we got the ferns as usual around our the altar here. We get the ferns. And uh, we got Chinese lanterns coming up here. And of course some poke root, poke berry. And uh, this might get transplanted, probably not this year, probably next year, um, over where we have some other pokeberry. Take a walk over here. I think my shorts are falling down. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> so uh, we might transplant that over there. I might do it this year. We'll have to see. You know, I'll harvest that. But uh, good old poke salad. And uh, really good for pain and stuff like that. And as we continue on, we uh, have a real blessing over here. Every year the orange blossoms just look fantastic. They, these look just unbelievable this year. And uh, really healthy and thick. And kind of letting the canopy almost to the ground. With a little entranceway in the back, I'm kind of making a little organic shed under there that I can store stuff. So, clean up some of this other stuff here. And uh, we have Hello Shy Bear and her son, Fricker. How you guys doing? Doing good. And Oh, yes. I always show. That's this winter coming up firewood. So, that's looking good. Looking very nice, very nice indeed. Continue the show here. We have some sour dock, uh, broadleaf sour dock with burdock coming up. And there's burdock back there behind the generator. And uh, sour dock there behind the generator. And this is actually yellow dock here, or what they call curly dock because of the leaves. And it's really tall. It's almost as tall as I am, five foot seven. And that's really coming out nice. Very nice. Got a little red maple tree. I should try to move that, but I don't want to. So let's see what we're going to do with that. That's growing really good. I'm going to have to re-angle that like we did the big pear tree here. And uh, we have a fresh first year burdock coming up here. And we have some jewelry coming up. And little bits of burdock and broadly planting. You can see the flowers on the orange blossoms there. Beautiful boy. You want to talk about a butterfly bush? Forget about every butterfly there is. So, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. And, uh, of course, we go around the side here. From the yellow dock to curly dock to the more jewelry coming up here. You can see a big patch of burdock here. The leaves are big. And uh, over here is a little of a mess. And you gotta cut some of this out to get the uh, Rosa Sharon out, but it's actually growing through there, so it should get taller than that. We have a scrub oak, been here for years. And in here, we have burdock. We have a potato plant. Cool. More rows of Sharon growing. Here we have sour dock. Another patch starting, which is really cool. Some violets down there getting eaten pretty good by something. And another large, it looks like it's going to be a two-year-old um, burdock with a stalk. So, 
that should feed a lot of birds, a lot of critters. Here we have our growing our sage here, our medicinal ceremonial sage, um, and Karen's butterfly bush. So that's about it. Um, way up there on the side in front of the fence is longleaf platen. Let me see if I can transplant some of that back here. So that's about it this year. Not much going on here. We're not doing much. Like I said, I'm kind of a little on the uh, downside right now. And we're kind of exhausted. Been a long year. A lot going on. Uh, a lot more than we thought would be going on. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, hope you give a thumbs up. And uh, give another update in the yard and, and the garden in another month. So take care.